Hey, welcome to this Geography Masterclass. Today we're going to learn about how mountains are formed. My name is Mr. Salagaris and this is part of my Year 8 Geography course. Mountains are formed by huge forces which push the surface of the Earth up and down. We're going to explore this further by looking at the Earth's layers, the tectonic plates, and how those plates interact with each other to create mountains. Okay, to do this we need to understand the Earth's layers. The Earth is a bit like an onion, it's made up of multiple layers. At the center you've got the inner core, which is the hottest and has the most extreme pressure. It's followed by the outer core, which is made up of liquid metals, and then you've got the mantle, which is broken into three parts, the upper, middle, and lower. That's made up of uh, hard rock, which flows um, slowly around the core. Above that, you've got the oceanic and the continental crust. Um, so the oceanic is beneath the ocean, continental is beneath the, the continent, so the land, which is a thin layer of rock. Okay. Tectonic plates, let's talk about that. The crust is broken into large pieces called tectonic plates. They can be about 100 kilometers thick. Magma, which is molten rock, under those plates causes them to move around, okay? They can move in a number of ways. We're going to talk about two of those today. Um, with those plates uh, move, they can converge or push together, which forms mountain ranges. This is what we got happening here. The black there represents um, the two plates, this one and this one. The green represents the movement of those plates. So as those two plates come together, one of them sinks beneath the other one and the other one pushes up creating a mountain ridge um, just along here okay if we look at another type of movement called diverging plates that's where the plates pull apart allowing the magma to breach the surface and create new land that's what's happening in this illustration here the red represents the magma which is allowed to breach the surface as the plates um, diverge or move apart so the green represents the movement here Okay, let's talk about different types of mountains. You've got three different types of mountains that I want to talk about today. Fold mountains, block mountains, and volcanic mountains. Fold mountains are formed when plates converge and force plates to move upwards. So converging, remember, push together with converging. Um, you can see that the red represents the force, uh, pushing the plates together and creating a mountain or a fold mountain. In the center here, we've got a block mountain. They're formed when cracks in the crust force the land upwards. So you've got force beneath pushing up and the cracks um, cause the mountain to move upwards, okay? Volcanic mountains, um, they're formed when magma pushes up from the Earth's crust um, and this forms new land, a bit like those diverging plates um, that can create volcanic mountains. So the land is pulled apart and the magma is allowed to rise to the top, forming new land. Okay, let's summarize what we've learned so far. We've learned that mountains are formed by huge forces which push the surface of the earth up and down. We've learned about the layers of the earth, tectonic plates, and how those plates can move to create different types of mountains. Okay, make sure you like this video, um, comment on it, subscribe to my channel, and make sure, most importantly, you watch it again if there was something that you missed. Thanks for watching.